James Joseph Whitey Bulger Jr. is an organized crime figure from South Boston, Massachusetts. Bulger began his sentence for armed robbery at USP Atlanta in 1956 and was transferred to Alcatraz in November 1959. January 6, 1959. From W.H. York, Associate Warden, to Mr. F.T. Wilkinson, Warden. Bulger is serving a sentence of 20 years for bank robbery. Investigation discloses that this man furnished a hacksaw blade to three men in B. Cell House who are attempting to escape from this institution. Almost every time information is received about some escape plot, Bulger's name heads the list. When he was received, the state of Indiana had a pending murder charge against him. However, no detainer has been filed. It is my recommendation that Bulger be considered for transfer to Alcatraz as a serious escape risk. W. H. York, Associate Warden. Bulger offers memories of his transfer and life on the rock as inmate 1428-AZ. I was flown on a TWA jet with around four or five marshals from Baltimore, Maryland to San Francisco. I enjoyed the smell of the salt air and choppy water. I came over to Alcatraz on the Warden Johnston boat and was bolted in for security purposes. I remember it all so well. When I arrived, all of my old friends who I had served time with at Atlanta gave me a big welcome. They were hollering from their cells as I walked down Broadway. Looking back, Alcatraz was pretty good. You may be surprised to find out that I look back at Alcatraz with a sense of nostalgia. My life today would break most men. After 16 years on the FBI's most wanted list, and after living a quiet life on the California coast, I'm back in a cold isolation cell. I often reflect back to those years on the rock. Even though the city of San Francisco was close, we inmates always felt so far removed from everything. It was like we were on the dark side of the moon. We saw the same faces all the time. We had the same routine all the time. Everyone pretty much felt the same. I wouldn't say that again if I were there under the same conditions today. I'd be in the yard sitting high up on the bleachers, getting the warm sun on me, looking out across the bay, and watching the ships and the Golden Gate Bridge. It was the best view from any prison in the world. I'm sure that if men like Capone, Mickey Cohen, Joe Clarence Carnes, or Jack Twining were alive today, we would reminisce over coffee, since we'd have a lot of the same memories of our years there. Going through the old roster, it's like a trip through the cemetery. I had flashbacks of seeing the names of many good friends. I'm pretty sure Boston and its suburbs were well represented in Alcatraz. Many people I knew for years, and knew how they lived and how they died. When I first arrived on Alcatraz, I was assigned a cell on Broadway on the flats, where new men were kept until they were assigned a job and a regular cell. The guy who walked me to my cell was a big guy named Hot. He had a pleasant voice, and as I came into the cell block, a couple of guys, one was Catalano, started hollering my name, and other guys from Atlanta picked up that I had arrived on Alcatraz. I remember Hart turning to me and saying something like, You're real popular. 